Today, we're burning our faces off with some specially infused tequilas from Derek's own homegrown peppers using Siempre Tequila. Stay tuned. Oh, I can handle it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Comment Cocktails. I'm Derek. That's Dan. That's Ian. We are going to do for you what I like to call a Hot Ones inspired uh, cocktail tasting with margaritas. This is specifically for those wanting to get creative for Cinco de Mayo. It's coming up next week from when this is recorded so that you'll be all prepared and ready to go as a first note so that I don't get the FTC after me. This episode is sponsored by Sampre Tequila. Um, we're going to use their Blanco to create how many? A oh, craft four. One. Four, four. Four margaritas. We've prepared three of the four. The last one we're going to make is going to be the Chocolate Ghost, right? That's right. Yeah. yeah. So we're going from inc for increasing heat. We're, yes. We've got a regular uh, Siempre Plata yep. uh, uh, Margarita. Then we yep. got one with Jalapeno infused yep. Siempre. It's this guy. One with Ghost Pepper infused Siempre. And, and one with Chocolate Ghost Pepper infused Siempre. So the Chocolate Pepper is the hottest out of these. That's roughly 1.5 million. Scoville, this is probably 1.25 or close to 1. It's hot enough that you can't hot. decipher the difference. This is probably... Uh, what's jalapeno like 20 30 3500 um and then we have nothing which is just straight up that's the that's the challenge we're going to make the first one so that we can ask i'm going to ask a series of questions that we're all going to answer all these questions were generated by the fans that got their questions in before i started the whole night of, of organization so i got plenty <laughs> of questions and they they will not they're not they're not going to increase in complexity I guess they might. I try to put the harder ones last because once you've been drinking and you yep. start to forget your life, um, that's Hence the one. point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's why you drink. Right. <laughs> so for those that are like, you guys are really gonna drink a ghost pepper infused uh, Sampere tequila. Yes. Here's the recipe for this. I'll, I'll start with the recipe for the the actual cocktail. Baby steps. <laughs> Ready? Got it. It's uh, it's kind of like a two on one, but not quite. Two ounces Sampere Blanco. One ounce of fresh lime juice, three quarters ounce of agave nectar, bounce against three quarters ounce of orange liqueur. All right. That's it. All right. So we each, got, we each got three. Let's go ahead and shake and pour, and then I'll start making the it's, other ones. I, I don't have a shaker. Why do you have oh, two right. shakers? You, you take my shit. Oh, it's going to be hot. That's pretty good. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good amount of ice you got here. We're gonna need a lot more ice. Yes. Oh, are we are we getting all fucking fancy? Is that what's happening here? Yes, I guess. Dan's like, where's I'm my not, strainer? I'm not sure I'm up to this. This is not part of the script. Yeah, no. strainer. This is a pretty big strainer. drink. Oh, because you had a lot of ice in here. Just throw the ice back in. <laughs> <laughs> Just throw it in. All right. Here. Uh, so this is the classic. Yeah, yeah, that's my. We'll put this one here. This is for heat. Okay. And that's the original one. This so is the original one. Go with it. Uh, let's see. Should but I, I, I should probably that. hold on? Slide cool. these. I need one. They, give me. This is gonna look better for camera. Uh, does that look okay on the camera, or is it blurry? Actually, this is gonna be to be in focus. Like that. This is where you do a jump cut, right? I don't really enjoy jump cuts. I know. That's why I like to call them out. All right. Now, which one is this? <laughs> That was uh, no, the regular one. The that's the classic. <laughs> so that's the classic. This is the jalapeno. All right. Wash your fingers right. before you touch one. your eyes. Or your penis. Or, or your penis. penis. Don't touch your penis. Are you making that one now? Yes. Okay. So. So I get to. Uh, I haven't drank anything yet. Oh, and then you probably want to start. Um, <laughs> the infusion recipe for those that want to make their own mm. Sampere oh, Blanco infusion, good. then that must be a normal one. That's good. Mm. Um, the infusion I did is I took these jalapenos, I added in about probably four ounces or so of, of Blanco. I left the jalapenos for about five hours or six hours, so it's not going to be too strong. These two I left for about two hours, two and a half. Which is far too long. Yeah. Um, you can probably infuse a ghost pepper for 20 minutes. So two and a half hours is That's pretty That's going to be close. fun. Yeah. Awesome. Um, they're hot. I taste tested one of them straight. 
Hmm. And it was a life altering experience. Um, so this should this be... one just sizzled when I poured it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, why is it? There's like a sound. Yeah. Maybe it was gas skipping, but I don't know. I'm yeah, call it, it a sizzle. It could have been. It could have been any of those things. Uh, so those are the recipes. If you want to make these at home, uh, I grow ghost peppers. So the chocolate ones are hotter. Just I didn't know that was going to be the case. I don't have any reapers. I think so. It doesn't matter. Two million, 1.5 million, 1.25 million, one million. It's going to be hot. Half a million, you're still going to be sweating. All right, drink and answer questions. All right, so I'll ask the question. Wait, we got to take Producers a sip of this first. Producers grumpy today. All right. <laughs> All right. That is your run of the mill mm. standard Perfect, get over here. Tasty margarita. Is it's got the right balance of yeah. sweet, sour. No it's got not. a little saltiness to it. We didn't add any salt in either, right? Doesn't it have like a saltiness to it, or is that just my? It's just the agave or the. Oh yeah, it's probably the tequila. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's really good actually. Mm, it is. It's fucking delicious. <laughs> and whoever made that is fucking. Um, I, I will give you. <laughs> if you go to shop.sampratequila.com, use coupon code CMC. You get free shipping if you purchase uh, a bottle of each, which will put you at or above uh, $150. They give you free shipping on orders of $150 or more. That's coupon code is valid from May 1st to May 31st. Um, so, you know, it's the Cinco de Mayo, May time period. They're trying to celebrate that and we're gonna celebrate it now. Now, yeah. I have to ask a question because right. that was round one, because it was all tasty, everybody liked it. What makes a perfect meal? Ian. One you don't have to clean up after. Oh, answer, that's Ian. fucking good. Yeah, right. Wow. I, the other one is free, uh, like a free meal. Free meal's good. Yeah. Uh, damn. Big fan damn. Of that. I don't think I beat that. So, sorry to put you guys to shame right off the bat. But... <laughs> I say one that you didn't have to cook, but mm, not always. So. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather cook that shit myself. Yeah, that's true. So then, what's the answer? What? What makes a perfect meal? Or is that meal? the answer? You're cooking it. And that's kind of conceited, but it, we can roll with it if you want to. No, no, because that's not the perfect meal. What makes a perfect meal? Like for me, I, I would say like the I like the like a meatloaf or something that's kind of heavy on or, or turkey dinners. Comfort food. Comfort food. I like comfort food. That's per it doesn't have to be the most fabulous, spicy, whatever. I just like comfort food. I like something that I haven't had before. Ah, that's always there the Dan way. Yeah. You always want to try something. I want something new. Um. Uh, and then what makes a great tequila? Don't tell my wife. No, uh, <laughs> no smoke. <laughs> no smoke. Uh, uh, Siempre, folks, you need to make a mezcal. Just say. <laughs> just so I can not try it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> you try it, and you know you would. What do you, what do you think, Dan? That uh, makes a good tequila. A good tequila? Mm -hmm. Do we all have to drink the jalapeno one for these questions? Great tequila. No, that's the next question. That's the next set of questions. Yeah. Okay. This there's two the questions each one. because so, I okay, had a lot of questions. This was the normal tequila, the normal margarita question. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What makes a good tequila? Um, I like when it has like a little bit of like saltiness. Yes, so, like the, the, yeah. that that has. I was yep. gonna that shit. I was gonna say something. Did I say one? I like the I like a cooked. That's what I actually like. Yeah. Yeah. So these guys use an actual cooked agave versus that of. Uh, okay, this this is the one you're gonna drink next. Yeah, that's You guys can one. run this down the line. All right. Um, the cooked agave. You wanna go first? Wanna using go first? a a brick oven, okay. traditional style to me tastes better. It's not as hollow. Um, it's not mm. as cheap. It's got some bite. Okay. It's a good if, one. If you started crying, I was going to say this is just the no. bottom tier here. So. I like spicy drinks, so. so um, I don't know if I like that Dan, spicy. Dan, I'm going to ask you the first round two question. Yeah. Uh, what was your first, quote, mm. stolen from your parents' liquor cabinet cocktail? The jalapeno was like fresh tasting. I just kind of like, It's very, like, vivid. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. It was uh, vodka and orange soda. Orange soda? It tastes orange? like pepper. I swear to God. Tastes like what? Vodka and orange soda. Tastes like what? It has like a peppery taste to it. Really? Like, oh yeah, it's weird. That is weird. That's sweet, but it's sun kissed. <clears throat> sun kissed. <laughs> but you think you know, this is this has this creeps up like there's a heat. That's oh, there's a that's actually a I think that's like the that's perfect the heat for like a heat. Yeah. for like a spicy yeah, a like level. margarita. Like that's a really good level. It's gonna get real. Um, I, so my, the answer you're going next because I know you, you don't go. have a good one for this. Stolen what? from your parents' liquor cabinet cocktail. Probably gin. I don't know. I, really? I don't know that I ever stole from my parents' liquor That's cabinet. That's what I was assuming. I yeah. Was I mean, I yeah, I never really hid drinking from them. That's the yeah, problem. That I didn't either. Thing. I have no answer for this. I, I didn't mean, steal I drank anything. beer. And my parents gave me beer. But we had a tap. Yeah. And they true. will let yeah, me drink. Well, your dad makes beer, so. But how yeah. old were you when you had your first drink? Twelve. Oh, yeah, me too. So 
But I had it legally. Well, oh, okay, yeah. not legally. You, you, you didn't. I had it. it. You I didn't know what you had it legally. I had it. I had it through the supervision. <laughs> How old are you? Yeah. Like, what were the laws back then? Like, holy shit. Did dirt taste different? I don't know. Were you like in Canada or something? <laughs> I, I had it through the legal who was means the keeper of, of the my plan? parents. <laughs> my parents. Is it okay if I have another sip? Yeah. <laughs> okay. You're gonna want to because you're not gonna do that again. Uh, yeah, I, my parents always let me drink anything, so I it never bomb. was a problem. At twelve, I was drinking. The the although the craziest. Oh yeah, I get spicier. The craziest was when my grandmother made a, a brandy eggnog for me, and she, I I don't know how much brandy she used, man, but it was friggin' burning. And we were at twelve. I'm like, this doesn't even taste good, but I've got all this alcohol. I'm gonna <laughs> use it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, second question. Uh, where, where the fuck am I? Oh, uh, favorite driving music. That was our round. Oh, no, okay. No, that was there's two <coughs> questions per, only because we had a lot of people ask for Oh, we had two questions. You got to take another sip, yeah. though. You have to take another sip. Oh, okay. yeah. so it gets a little more burning. Uh, my favorite driving music would be either Five Figure Death Punch or Disturbed. Damn. Because I, I like to drive fast, and it helps. If I'm going on a long long road trip, Tom Waits, Illuminators. Oh, my God, really? He's got a he's got an album called The Heart of Saturday Night, which is all about driving around. So, I mean, it's yeah, perfect. Yeah, it's Tom music. Waits. Yeah, which, which which means it's awesome. I'd be full on sleep. <laughs> no, like I, Tom Waits. Is, it's good though. My yeah. father's no, big into Tom Waits. My, my brother's. I know he's not your Waits. style, but he's, it's great driving music. I think. I, yeah, if I had to drive a long ways, I would just listen to everything. Yeah. But I listen to hip hop. Eminem, I've listened to that too. Uh, so hip hop. Yeah, anything? I like hip hop. Anything you like hip hop. It's got to be like energy. Like I need. Yeah, that's why yeah. I listen to heavy metal at a very fast rate. Yeah. Um. I'm getting that phlegm, like it's burning. Yeah, that I'm getting, yeah, All the right. second time. Uh, <laughs> I gotta go first. Well, we haven't asked the question yet. What, what, no, we did. That well, was round two still. Yeah, which so was now the, you gotta drink. But I want- Oh, we gotta drink you before? Have to drink. Oh, that was the jalapeno one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you have to drink before you ask questions. Oh, the drink is before the question? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. That's how they do okay. it. So we drink that's that's you're dying when you We understand the parameters here. You got it. Yes. All right, go for it. You want me to go first? I'll go first if you want to. Don't fucking just throw it out there. Like, I'll do it. I know you will. I'm just saying. Those are all good. God smacks either and shine down. <laughs> God smacks either shine down are all on my playlist. That one gets you. That, I listed all of those with Five Figure Death Punch and Disturbed in one big playlist. Oh, what's your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> uh, question, Dan. Dan, your, here's your question. Favorite ultra sugary cocktail from a club? Strawberry daiquiri. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, my God. This is a white Russian. Kind of <clears throat> white Russians. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's sugary. It's cream. Holy shit! Oh! You don't think that's fucking hot? That is hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, like a yeah. I'm so white hard. Russian. Yeah. Strawberry daiquiri. I'm gonna go with Midori. Whose idea mm. was this anyway? Oh it's man. Sour. Okay. Yeah. I thought so. Oh Midori sour. Oh Jesus. <laughs> fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! That's <laughs> hot. <laughs> you, want, you want a second sip before I ask the next question? Oh no. Choose between waxing a body part or a ultra spicy drink. <clears throat> like I gotta drink that whole thing? Yeah. <laughs> At this moment, waxing a body part. I'll wax a body part. <laughs> Which body part? I don't think I could drink that whole thing. <laughs> it would be tough. <laughs> um, it would I, hurt the next day. I would wax a body part because I already shaved body parts. What's the difference besides the pain? Yeah, waxing yeah. a lot more. Self waxing. I, wa I've, I like, know, I I've waxing, done the like self wax stuff and I've never done it. It, it only it, hurts. It would wane, right? The, the pain would go away. If you put uh, yeah. your hand on it like yeah. that yeah. for a minute, yeah. Yeah, like if you wax your chest or something. Like I think based on personal experience <clears throat> of both waxing and of drinking this, the waxing and the pain goes away. Did faster. you want to take another sip? Did you take another sip? Yeah. No, <laughs> no I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> second question, Dan. Oh, wait, are you going to wax? That was the second question, right? Yeah, that was the second question. That was the second probably, question. You already fucked up. <laughs> so we all, already, we all got to drink our second yeah, sip. Yeah, we have to drink our second yeah, sip. Yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, I already <clears throat> drank a second sip. I started with that. I think I had three. Because it's still good. Yeah, now you got to do the. You're going to make me do four? Stuff. I like switched you around in my mouth first. The problem is. Why'd you do that? <laughs> I don't know. It, it doesn't feel as bad. This. My fucking I lips are like on fire. Where the fuck is that heavy cream? <laughs> this, so, Derek's hoarding it over there. It's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't have cream before that. <clears throat> um, it is sweet for a few seconds. Like, I mean, it's nice and cold when it first touches your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last All right, one. Last one. Fuck that. And you well, go this, first? This has to be comparable to the other one. Yeah. Yeah. Probably, I, I don't know. It's probably I haven't tried. I, I've only tried this one straight. <clears throat> Hold on. 
I don't think that's going to help like you think it's going to. <clears throat> well, capsaicin is alcohol soluble, so you would think that. I know, but. Oh, so you think actually, as it sits there, it's going to get less, mm. less spicy? It might. It's not for me. Yeah, it's see, really yeah. fuck you, it helps. <laughs> you can try it. It helps for like three seconds. Yeah. The, the uh, lime, though. Is that the strong one? Mm hmm. It's darker yeah. looking. I feel phlegm as you. Did you already try it? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> you already <know what>? oh. <laughs> I'm having like stomach issues here. I'm giving myself a second. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. So it should be the same. Oh, yeah. Is it hotter? Oh, uh, yes. Is it? Yes. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it at first. So, what, when, where, and why <clears throat> is the most drunk? Oh, where, where, what, when, and where, and why was the most drunk you've ever been? That doesn't word right. My house, because of Jen, no, and no. adios, motherfuckers. <laughs> Is that when you fell on the on the porch and we saw it on your video? No, that's no. When you had to fly out the next that's day. when I had to fly out the next day. The so night that I fell on my like porch, it. though, that was pretty drunk that night. <laughs> um, it's usually at my house. I, because yeah, because you're not because I don't get drunk. I don't want to get that drunk. Yeah, you don't get else. drunk anywhere else. Uh, Holy shit. I think it's still my first time when I had yeah, that. Yeah, the seven and seven. The Seagram seven and ginger ale. We weren't doing them right. We, we didn't have seven and seven. Good. Which one? Your bachelor party. You were oh, shit, good. I don't remember that. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, inhaled. Hold on. For me, I was, what was I? It's like 19, and I drank like most of a handle of the Jim Beam. Oh, and, I, and I had to work for 13 hours the next day. Oh, I think I've heard this story. Oh. Yeah. I was still drunk for like most yeah, of the day, and I was hungover girl. for the rest of the day. Oh. So actually, you probably got lucky about uh, oh. for that long. <laughs> so I guess then mine would be at Boston Billiards in Boston, right? In a limo, and I don't remember anything else. Oh, I know it ended with um. Did you should take Jack. a sip of that thing. Yeah, it ended with Rob right. cleaning up the van. This is like a little sore, so I'm thinking in a second. <laughs> it doesn't, so it's not like <laughs> like you don't feel like the night. heat. Yeah. <laughs> you can you can like, taste yeah, the pepper. You know, like yeah. the peppers have that like they almost have that like dull taste. Yeah, there it is. <clears throat> yeah. uh, I don't know. We, none of us have ever done the one chip challenge, so I have no idea how the oh. spice compares. I'm not worried about one chip challenge. This is really bad. <laughs> Someone asked how the spice would compare. So. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I've had a lot of spice. The flavor's stuff. interesting in that because mm. it's like you you want to like it. About the dullness is there, like that dull. Yeah, yeah I see what you're saying about that. It's like you taste like the pepper, like like yeah, peppers have that like yeah. weird taste to yeah. it, like earthy. This one, like you kind of feel the heat. This one, you don't. And then all of a sudden, you, like you like really feel the heat. I have to try it again. I think I took a smaller <clears throat> sip of that one. It's too. a different kind of heat than that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. It tastes like candy right up front. Yeah. And yeah. then it then I don't wow. Yeah. Then it doesn't. <laughs> oh. It tastes like candy and then it doesn't. Like my lips. So there's are only one burning. question here, so we don't have to like do multiple sips of this. No. One? No, I just never. Oh. Oh, okay. uh, so what's the most underrated drink in your opinion? Oh, good question. Most underrated drink. Mine? Un yeah. Underrated? Midori Sour, I think, is <sighs> one of the most underrated drinks. <laughs> yeah. A good one. A good one. Yeah. Like a real one. Yeah. Oh, I got one. What do you got, Ian? You want me to uh, go? I, I can't think of anything. Lemon drop. <laughs> oh. Like a real lemon drop with the sugar. The one we made for the cocktail, for the vodka series. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. Like, yeah, yeah, that with was vodka, good. a little bit of, like, actual sugar. The caster sugar, instead of, like, simple syrup, <sighs> makes it so that... Hold on. <laughs> it's I'm trying not, to blow on my own legs. Breath. <laughs> it doesn't help, does it? No, it doesn't. No, no, no it doesn't. It, the, the lemon drop isn't as sweet as you think it would be because it's got sugar in it versus simple syrup, which would make it too candy-like. It's the it's the lips. It's on fire. Does that work? Got an underrated drink. Yeah. I guess have good ones. I don't know. I mean, all I can think of is like the drinks that I like, like Aviations and Manhattans and White Russians and stuff. But I, I don't know that they're under, might be. I don't know that they're underrated. I, mean, I don't like know. Aviations, aviations is rated pretty high. Yeah. yeah. But by the people. Singapore Sling we had. Oh, that's I don't probably know. I don't know if that's drink. underrated, yeah, but that was yeah, really that's good. This is delicious. I, I feel like yeah. it's, it's underrated now. Well, but like, like maybe a Clover Club or something. I don't know because that. Clover Club's good. It's like a raspberry gin drink. Yeah. You should make Clover Club. I like Clover Club. There's a link. Like. Literally? Yeah, literally. My mouth, like, my lips are on fire. <laughs> so, you took would... another sip of that? 
Yes, I wanted to get that. It's intriguing. <laughs> that flavor again. That uh, flavor. Yeah, you, yeah, you taste that, right? Yeah, it's like, it's weird. It's like muting the front of your palate a little bit. It feels like... But I have, then it gets hot down here. Like, it, this one doesn't yeah, really... Yeah, it's down here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's how that one works. <laughs> like, these it's, kind it's, of, like, front, like, right on your the front of your mouth there, yeah. The ghost yeah. is definitely, like, it's supposed to be, like, down here. Mm. Which is that... I don't know why that... I thought that was going to be hotter because it's right. <clears throat> Well, um, it's hotter. Mm-hmm. Now Derek's going to tell you about... <laughs> See, I'm free. Tequila. <clears throat> uh, so, I'm not going to read all the text because it, it is repeating over the course of the entire month. Sampra is helping us with tequila month. The whole month, we're going to have five tequila cocktails. Um, the key point, remember, these guys make this the old school way. We just did four of them. <laughs> this is the... I don't know. I only got the one. Uh, these guys only they do it the old school way using actual cooked agave versus um, there's three processes. I have a video on um, the secret dirty secrets of tequila. There's um, autoclave, there's diffuser, and then there's real cooked agave. Each one of those makes it worse each time. Um, so like a, a diffuser product, you're gonna need to add flavor to it to get the to taste like tequila again because it's made with chemicals. Um, where cooked agave is exactly what you get. So the taste of this is from the the terroir of the of the area. And these guys use a highland and a lowland the ground. for their for their blend. <laughs> so well they use so the highland, I think the lowland is a mineralistic and the highland is a fruity or vice versa. It's in the text, but my, my mouth. Are you uh, gonna link in the reviews we did on these? I will link in the reviews yes. here just, and then in the comments below or comments. That's fair, I make a little more work for you description um so what you're going to get out of this is earthy and fruity together what you're going to get out of this is fire pure heat and hell so this is easier this is tolerable this is crazy and that's roller coaster i think this one's hotter than this one though for some reason yeah you that think? one goes away yeah. faster but my lips oh, I don't know. Are, are burning maybe because it may let me try <laughs> fuck this is the best part. Uh, like, you said you you said this is what you do, and I was like, no, nah, you're not gonna do that, and you're doing that. Well, because I mean, I think I, my mouth was like on fire from drinking that one. Yeah, that when I try to drink this one, it was like now it's starting to calm down. Right. Yeah. No, or he's just lying to me, and now he's making me drink. <laughs> That's this. It's sweet. It's super sweet. I don't. It's the. I think it's the. <clears> I'm really good at holding it back <laughs> if I don't want to show it. I'm you are. <laughs> Isn't like no, I don't think that like, one's as bad after the mouth cools down a little bit. I honestly don't. Uh, my mouth is fine. It's my lips are just on fire. Like that. You're right. Thank you. I'll take it. <laughs> You're right. You you, wait, are you less? cool down? Uh, I I can handle it. No, no, no. But you got to see that. If it's no, like, no. My mouth. I think is this fine. is spicier. Yeah. Because after this, like, now that my mouth's cooled down, that's definitely. Yeah, that's actually not that bad now. Right. Yeah. Maybe because I took a little baby step too. Could be. <laughs> We've learned our lesson. Uh, yeah. Like I took a gulp of that one. Yeah, I was, was like, yeah, I can fucking do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> yeah, that's not so said mm, Although first. I am, I think we're at this point, all of us are like at a higher tolerance level right now. So it's a little easier. It could be because drink that one. It tastes normal. <laughs> 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 Literally, I just think so. I was like, mm, this doesn't even spicy. Like, oh, that even spicy. It tastes like green peppers. Mm. Like mm. fresh cut green pepper. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the flavor I was getting. Like the fresh jalapeno yeah. flavor. Yeah. Not like the canned hall. I'm just either. getting bell pepper right now. Yeah. Like this, I don't, there's no eating. This is fucking wimpy. That one's definitely, try that one again then. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> we already did that twice. I, I did it four times. I don't know why, but I don't, no, I can't do that. You can do it. All right. All right. One more time. All right, this is for the show. Yeah. Yeah, see, that one's not that bad now. Mm. You get a little chocolate too. Mm. I wonder, that's fruitier, it's that's supposed to be mineral, but this is like backwards or something. I don't know, that's fucking hot. That's hot. It's like hot right away. What was the infusion time on those again? Thank you, Solomon. Two and a half hours. Eat both of them? Yeah. Okay. I Once I sipped this one and almost died, I was like, that's good enough. Oh, yeah. If you left those in for any longer, holy Jesus. It, it will it will ramp. Yeah. Because this is like <clears throat> six hours. That would, yeah, it would be tolerable if it's tolerable now. Yeah. I mean, you can definitely mess with people with this if it's their first drink. Mm. And really mess with people if that's their first drink. But oh, yeah. Mess with people that, yeah. This is just messing with people. Like, yeah, like I've drank drink. like ghost pepper margaritas like out, and like they're barely like that heat. Like, yeah. well, it's all about the diffusion too. Right? Yeah. So I mean, if we did this with, you know, instead of using minutes? two ounces of infused tequila, we use like a half ounce of infused tequila and two right. uh, an ounce yeah. and a half, which is what so, a lot of them will do. You know, you could probably take this and pour it into a bottle of tequila and balance it out. Yeah. yeah. A lot of you want to balance out to get the fl- the 
flavor and spice profile that you want. But they'll yeah, also infuse sugars. sugars. Sure. So you'll, yeah. if you have a simple syrup infused <clears throat> with they don't tell you it's a ghost pepper infused tequila. They say it's a ghost pepper infused <laughs> margarita. So a lot of them will balance it with sugar because sugar can extract that flavor. Not as good, mm. but you, you don't need as much of it. Jesus fuck. All right. Let me try this one again. <laughs> <laughs> um, that that takes like a good minute before all of a sudden you start like your whole body starts to salivate and you yeah. can't. And a good five before it goes away. Yeah. yeah. It's like you can't breathe. Um, oh, yeah. My mouth is just like, hmm. it's just like. <laughs> it's like, fuck you. Yeah. Like this one isn't that bad. Yeah, no. When I first Not took now, a sip, yeah. though, like it felt like it like was Well, you fire can't up. take a sip of milk after that. Right? <laughs> yeah. Or it <laughs> tastes <laughs> hot, right? yeah. This is the hottest yeah. milk I've ever had! Yeah. Take a sip of water. Holy right? cow. I was like, whoa! <laughs> All right. All right. That should, that should supplement those people looking for a, a, a tequila. You want a spicy tequila? Episode. Do it. You got it right here. All right. Uh, sidebar, more videos about tequila. It's tequila month, so it'll be everything from the last time we did tequila month to the end of this month's tequila month. Lots of tequila. Bartender's kit and all that. That's it. Gigi, I drink. Hot.